All right, come on in, hit the like button. The thing about subscribing if you're already, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash view for the 2023 independent action film called Shrapnel. Here's the plot. A former Marine and his war buddy face off against the Mexican cartel after it, uh, his daughter it disappears. Here's some of the cast. Okay, I have issues with this film. Uh, they're kind of big issues too. For starters, if your child is kidnapped by a ruthless cartel, the last thing you do is call the news media to interview yourself on your ranch that also happens to be in Texas next to the Mexican border. He was a high-ranking Marine officer. He should have known better, and it's also just in general common sense. Especially when he have, has another stepdaughter, a younger one, and his wife on the ranch. That had to be the stupidest part of his film. It honestly annoyed me, how, uh, ignored the hell out of me throughout the film because I kept thinking about it. It's like there was other ways to, you could have gone about it and you went with the worst freaking way. Really. Putting your daughter, your editor daughter, in, uh, in harm's way, want for wife, to save, to put it out there to get media attention to put that but on top of that they they showed the the whole the actual ranch uh sign too so they let them do that because they're letting them onto their private property and honestly you know it's like whatever second this film looks like it was shot on a cheap camera more like a off-brand kind of camera like a sony or something like uh like those little box silver ones that uh, were in the early 2000s, it had that kind of quality to it. With the filler shots along with the very clean free hand, uh, clear free handed shooting added to it. This film is only one hour and 30 minutes long, should have made it at least a one hour and 45 minutes long to fill in the kidnapping part. The whole opening credits scenes with the audio of her calling and stuff, and then they had music, and there wasn't much much of it. So you can't even argue that this part was really a, a good setup. Because I've seen others where they do that, do this, and then it's, and it's it has more fill to it. She was getting kidnapped, and they were taken, whatever you want to call it, at the time of this, as I said. Uh, then went straight to him knowing where to find the car. To me, that was a huge rushed plot hole, in my opinion. To the point it was just, the writing was really stupid just because of that alone. Um, but here's my reading, I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now, was the action parts good? Yes, but the action doesn't make up for the horrible writing of the story in this case. They, the action can have the option of making it more overcompensate for the, the story. But because of this, the, bar, the first part of the movie was so, you know, this so bad of, of plot hole in this, the two plot holes, it doesn't, it, you can't compensate for that, unfortunately, in my opinion. But let me know in the com uh, comments below what you guys think. Personally, I think this is like their own cheap attempt at trying to take on the Taken franchise. Even though I highly doubt they're going to do more of these films, but who knows. Um, but yeah. Um, so my review, my next review is going to be out on Friday. Um, I won't tell you what it is until then, or at least till tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm... I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna I have a microphone coming in and I'm gonna try to see if it works for me or not and I have some other stuff to do so uh, this has kind of been a really long kind of stressful week um, so uh, for if you, if you know you know um, but yeah remember I love you all please stay safe school